hello everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome to my first place uh deck profile and analysis from the remote duel extravaganza that i played this uh, weekend it was the main event and i ended up taking the whole thing completely undefeated first place i didn't even drop a single match which was absolutely insane i went undefeated in swiss and then undefeated in top cut so it was absolutely broken uh super insane um i played tier limit as my main deck but then i switched out decks uh for games two and three and i think that that's what uh ended up winning me the entire event which was actually super cool so uh it has this um, format where basically during games two and three you can switch your deck uh to however you want you can take out uh anything and replace it with anything so you can take out your entire deck and replace it with an entirely new deck um, it's actually just like insane it's a really kind of in my opinion honestly kind of a broken system um, I think it needs to be readdressed because it's kind of unfair to be completely honest with you but I do understand that it's a kind of hard to implement a side deck in the master duel but um, that's what ended up winning me this entire event um, but yeah, on the screen right now, this is just a very simple, basic tier deck that I ended up playing. Um, this is what I registered with, uh, because I figured it had a good going first and a good going second matchup. Um, but yeah, I ended up switching decks throughout the event. Uh, when I lost uh, my first game, I would just go and I would just play Rika for going first. Um, I would opt to go first and I'd play this. And it was actually just insane because I would make a board that was absolutely uncrackable and then they would have to go into game three or if that was game three, then I just won the match on the spot. So it was really unfair. In my opinion, I think that this was like actually just broken because this is like the best combo deck um, ever and no one knows how to interact with it. So it just makes it even better. Uh, one thing I do want to shout out really quick is I do want to shout out Konami, especially the guy who did our feature match. So on the screen right now, this is a feature match. I will be leaving the link in uh, in the description below uh, this is me right here so this is actually the finals match i played against hero um shout out to moise he was really cool he was my opponent but uh yeah also shout out to i don't remember his name but it was the guy who did the feature match who recorded this um he was super nice super cool the whole time uh and i really do appreciate that so oh uh, yeah there's not really a whole lot to say about that um, but yeah, it was really fun. Uh, you can watch the whole gameplay. What basically happened in the final match, which I'll go over really quick, is I played tier going first. Uh, I, to be honest, I made a couple of misplays, I'm not gonna lie, but I still won the match. Uh, in game two, um, I... let's see... Uh, I played Zodiac. Which was actually just crazy because uh, I put in Nibs against Hero because I knew that it was actually crazy. So as soon as he summoned Plasma and DPE, I just hit him with a Nib. Um, what's really funny is he chained DPE and then like my Nib kept in hand, which is super funny. But uh, that's kind of beside the point. Um, we had a really grindy game number two, um, which was really fun. It was a really cool match to watch. If you do want to watch it, I think it was really cool. Uh, but yeah, I played Zodiac. Uh, it was really funny. Um, so yeah, and then game three, I just went back and ran it back with the Rika deck, which was actually just broken to have this as my end board, where I had Con Con, uh, Spell Trap negate, a Omni negate, they can only activate one uh, Spell or Trap, and then I just negate it, and then they can't activate any Spell or Traps. Uh, then I have a Bounce, a Tribute, and then a Tribute and Take. So I can interact with four of their monsters, and they can activate Spell or Trap cards. And I have an Omni negate, basically, on top of all that with follow-ups. So... And the princess negate in the graveyard. So, like, I have everything. It was actually broken. The only way that they could out it is if they drew, like, exactly Dark Ruler, and then they would still be playing through, like, three interrupts. So, it was actually just broken. Anyways, that was um, basically what I decided to do for going uh, first, is I just played Rika, and it was absolutely insane. Uh, I had a 100% win rate when I went uh, first with Rika. I think I did it four times. When I didn't 2 -oh my opponent, I would play Rika, <laughs> basically, and then it would just win me the match anyways. So, the four times I did play the Rika deck, I ended on the full board and just, I won on the spot. It was actually crazy. Um, the one deck that I didn't have the greatest win rate with was the Zodiac deck, but I did like this because I could change out any of these hand traps and for just, like, anything. You could just play, like, a separate engine. You could play like the adventurer cards um or like what i did is i just played like a billion hand traps to stop my opponent and then i would just zeus them and then just sit on those zeus and then i'd still have hand traps in my hand for them so like it was actually really fun um it only had a 50 percent win rate i think i played it six times and i won three so um it was all right overall 
but uh, it was really funny. There was one time where I ended up drolling on my turn because my opponent max seed me, and then he couldn't draw any cards. I would make a Zeus, and then I Zeus the board, and then he had like a Tealement Scream and Soliac set. I actually it might not have been Soliac. I don't remember, but he couldn't search with them, so it was really cool because the droll actually came in like super handy, not only for the max seed but also to clear the entire field. So it was really cool. Um, so yeah, I think that this was a really fun option to play going second. You could try this in normal Master Duel, but realistically, I don't think it's going to work so well. I think what actually got me the edge in this event is specifically the siding process. That's why this deck was actually like pretty good. Um, other than that, it was kind of like whatever if you play this in like normal Master Duel, but you could maybe take it somewhere. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's basically how it worked out. Uh, the tier deck was really fun. Uh, I played this. This was the deck I registered with. I think I already mentioned that, but it, this is what I played. Um, yeah, it was it was a good deck. Uh, not really anything to say about that. Uh, I think I only dropped one game with this. Uh, I think my round one, actually. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's basically going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be doing a prize unboxing once I get all the prizes. Um, I think it'll be really cool because i get like a backpack a plushie some sleeves like i get a bunch of stuff so um i'll probably be doing like a prize unboxing for it it was super cool um i do want to shout out to the side deck for hosting the remote extravaganza they don't have to do this stuff sort of stuff but like it's always super awesome when they do um i do want to do two forms of criticism one, please fix the, fix the siding process. I think that this is super unfair and broken. Uh, I think it's the only reason I won, to be completely honest. Um, two, I want to say please give out invites for this event. Uh, I would have played the TCG main event if they gave out invites, but um, they didn't, so I decided to play Master Duel instead. <laughs> um, yeah, that's my only criticisms. I hope you guys don't, like, ban me for that. No, I'm just joking, but, like... Um, yeah, I think that you should really hand out invites for it. Um, you don't have to follow my criticisms, but I think that's uh, what I would personally do. Um, other than that, the event was absolutely super amazing. Rel really well done. Um, the judges were insanely awesome. Um, our, our head judge for the Master Duel event was phenomenal. Best judge, like, I've had in a long time, and I really do want to shout that out. I don't remember his name. I, I don't remember off the top of my head, otherwise I'd tell you, but um, yeah, enough of me rambling. Um, I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching.